Hey guys, welcome back to Blackwell Unbound. In the last episode, we tried to extract more information from Cecil, but unfortunately, we weren't very successful and now we're back here in the apartment because I really don't know what Joey. to do. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. Well, do you have something new to say? So Isaac Brown has a sister. Maybe this will be an easy night. Come on, let's hit the road. This place is Boresville Central. Okay, so we won't get any information At here. At least we've got his name now. Isaac Brown. Does that name mean anything to you? Afraid not, sweetheart. Still, a name is something to go on. Hmm. Well, I'm just That's gonna... for now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Maybe... Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. We are just supposed to head back to the joint and talk to this guy again? You just don't give up, do you? That's me. I'm like a bad penny. Hmm. Okay, this is new for some reason. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have... Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? Press the point. So what happened, see? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. Hmm, that's strange. Let's start with the report again. About that reporter. I know nothing else about that man. Southern guy. Talked real slow. Yeah, Just we, leave it. Yeah, we had that already. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. Hmm. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy, such... Life. Such a waste. Hmm. Okay. You don't have any information on this. You sure right? you don't? I, told I got yeah. no reason. To yeah, okay, okay, okay. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac, and Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. Interesting. Okay, so he's playing... Wait a second. Since he's playing that song... Why would I want to record that? Because he just told you. Why would I want to record that? Because he just told you. Why would I want to record that? Why would I want Why would I want to record that? Hmm, that is strange. Wait a second. So, let's talk Cecil? to him again. What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like... Okay, that's the song then. That doesn't make sense. After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and, well, in his heart he refused to believe she was dead. Hmm. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? And I guess now we do it? Okay. I think I've recorded enough. Somebody is already playing it. All right. Cecil. What? Okay. See you later. Yeah. 
I think we got what we need. So, let's head to the promenade. Ugh, forget it. And try this. Hi. Sis? Is that you, sis? I've been waiting for so long. Hmm. Let's be honest. No, Isaac. I'm not your sister. She couldn't come. No. No, she couldn't, could she? My sister's dead, isn't she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it. Eternity, the white light, the passage into the next world. It is something, all right. I still can't believe I'm dead. Crazy old lady, she killed me. Old lady? Yeah. Says she wanted to help me. Big girls and jokes. Why'd she want to go and do a thing like that? I'm sorry, I wish I knew. I don't think it matters anyway. It's time I join my sis. Just head into the light. Thanks, lady. You've been real kind. And uh, tell your friends sorry for the crack on the head. Right. Another day, another spirit gone to their rest. Hmm. Rest. Oh, that's a nice word. Yeah, no rest for you. Uh... Joey? Yeah, hi. Glad you're up. You! Did you... Did you save him? Yeah, yeah, sure, we saved him. Joey, is she talking to you? Yeah. Go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Oh. Isaac told me he was killed by an old woman. Was that you? I save, just like you. Who are you? I am the Countess. What? Countess? Countess of what? It's the only name I know. I saved them. You did I what? I helped them. You did I, what? I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. Don't just stand there, let's get after her. She's pretty spry for an old lady. Spry my foot? You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start with me, okay? Well... I'm not moving from this spot until I finished my cigarette. So that means we are supposed to take control of Joey again, huh? Alright, so it seems like we bid our farewell to the first ghost. So most likely we are supposed to go for the second one. Let's talk to Lauren hey with there. Joey first. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Hmm. Fantastic. Notebook updated. Okay, so let's switch back to Lauren then. Uh, 
cigarette pack, so let's take the lighter and light up another one. And let's have a look at the nerds. Isaac's murderer calls herself the Countess. She's a strange old woman. Dressed in rags. Okay. Joey, come here. What's the deal? I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. Mm, okay. That old woman, how could she see you? I don't know. Only folks that can see me are animals and other ghosts. And I don't think she's either. I don't know, Joey. She reminds me of something. Pardon? I can't explain it. Well, if you see her again, you can ask her. Hmm. That old... How could... I don't... Only yeah, know. we I'm had that. Sure I misclicked. I Sorry. see her. Any other thoughts on Mr. Mitch? I don't know. I can't get a read. Normally, I'm good at reading faces, but him? He's either a born straight man or he's hiding something. Uh-huh. Okay, so that was new. Sorry for rushing things. Any thoughts on our construction site ghost? Her? Eh, she's not bad looking in a motherly kind of way. Any thoughts on how to save her? Nothing springs to mind. Hmm. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Alright, we had our smoke. I don't think that we can do anything right here right now. So let's get going to the Come construction on, let's get site. Out of here. Right behind you. Still have some time. But we didn't get anything that is of in so maybe at the New Yorker? Yes. So we can Twice still one evening. Come on in, sit down. We can still come here. Why though? Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? I've met plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. Oh. Mr. Mitchell? I'm thinking. No. I can safely say I've never set eyes on this woman. I'm sorry. Aha, uh -huh, that is strange. I think that's all for now. Alright, you have a good night now. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Okay, that was really strange, but let's head back. Let's take control of Joey, go through the gate. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait here. All right, Joey, go in there. We'll have you knock. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing? Yeah, ask for I help. Need <laughs> it better. I need you to knock. Sure. Okay, knock on the door. So now we can talk to that My. woman. I'm popular, I'm popular today. today. Oh, oh, you again. Yeah. Hmm. You're not in a... What are you... We're on... You look at the door. If... Okay, so she won't react to I'd that. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've, I'm not going to stand here and indulge in... Who are you? Okay, let's go with... Nothing of these works, though. I... You do? Uh, no, you do not. One of who... Is I told the old is as good, but... Okay. They have no right. No All right, so let's right. go through here, then. Have I missed something in the last... Last time we came here? Seagram... I can't take the sign. It says Seagram Realty. Okay, so Seagram... I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. So maybe we are supposed to go there or call them via telephone in our apartment or look them up. It Seagram says Seagram Realty. Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction... Okay. Also, let's have another look There's at this There's not much letter. I can do with that except... Let's okay. take a look-see. Okay, so it's... Harriet Sherman. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. Hmm. This letter was written only a few weeks ago. Yeah, we have this that. This lady is a... My guess. Dear Mrs. Foreman, Harriet Sherman and Seagram Realty. I'll try to keep that in mind. Seagram Realty, Harriet Sherman. Uh, go through the gate. Can we talk about what? I'm back. You were gone. Okay, can hey, we? You got a minute? What is it, Joey? 
It's got some notes. Okay, those notes don't do anything. I think you can get- I don't think so. You might have- Ah, uh, solo. Yeah, think you can have- Oh, I- Just you- Okay, that's all then. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so let's take control of Lauren again and go back to the apartment. We are going to look up Seagram Realty and Harriet Sherman. Okay, let's start with the realty agency. Seagram Realty. Hmm, there's no listing. Okay. They must be based out of town. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so at least there was no typo. Harriet Sherman. Got her. There's a phone number, but no address. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so let's call her then. Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? Hmm. Could I ask you a couple of questions? What is this? A survey? No. Well, no. You can't ask me a couple of questions. I'm busy. Listen. Goodbye. Don't call back. Ah, <sighs> okay. So let's try again then. It's me again. You? I thought I told you not to call. Yeah, I know. Please, just listen. Hmm, ask for help. I could really use your help. Help? Why should I help you? Why should I help anybody? Nobody's ever done me any favors. Goodbye. Don't call back. Hmm, who would have thought? What a nice lady. It's me again. You? I th Yeah, I know. Okay. Let's go with Seagram Realty. I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Oh. Why didn't you say? You've got my $60. Um, yes. Yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Hmm, but I remember, guys. Rainy day jaw. Hmm, the things I'll do for a case. So now we do have this. Where is it, though? Didn't we just take that? I'm pretty sure that we did. Okay, I'll assume that we just have the money. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Okay, so let's go to Harry Sherman's. It's open! I'm back here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like, after you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here, sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Don't worry about it. Oh, well, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? Hmm. Let's ask about Harry So first. tell me about yourself. Me? Why do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah. You just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. Oh yeah, okay, let's open the notebook. Uh... We are going to talk about this, but let's start with the Countess here. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? Hmm, funny you mention that. Really? I once saw a strange old woman wandering the hallway back in the old building. I yelled at her to leave, and she did. 
I doubt that she was the one you're looking for, though. The world is full of strange old ladies, not unlike myself. <laughs> Do you know any reporters from the New Yorker magazine? Reporters? No. Okay, if we ask her Do again. Do you know any No? You don't know anything else about the strange old woman? No, nothing else. Okay, so this is the interesting question here. What can here. you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Oh. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. Mm-hmm. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. Mm-hmm. So they paid you money to leave? Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Aha, uh -huh. so we now have a name. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Mm -hmm. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. Oh. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Hmm. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some street kid, most likely. Thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. Wow, that's a statement for sure. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. Uh -huh. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Nothing else to Can say? Can you tell me anything else about your old Good I live. I like- Okay... Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Okay, then. Thanks. There's nothing else to ask her. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. Okay, that's a $60 envelope. Let's hope we won the lottery with that. Okay, so let's go to 30, 53rd and Lex for the for the time being and have a look at that envelope immediately. Uh, There's nope. not much in here. Just a photograph and a letter. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. October 18th, 1972. Mrs. Will... Oh, that's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. Okay. May we read the letter too? 
Okay, October 18th, 1972, Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me the other day. As promised, I am returning the photograph you lent me. All the best. Jay Mitchell, the New Yorker. New York, New York. New York, New York. Okay, we got something going here. Let's have a look this at the kids. This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. Uh-huh. Nothing else of interest, it seems That's now. her. Definitely the lady at the site. Uh-huh. Nothing else of interest, though, it seems. Huh. Interesting. So maybe we are just supposed to go to the New Yorker first, huh? But guys, I just realized we have hit the end of the episode mark. So, if you want to know... Yes. Okay. I'm becoming Don Rat popular. Oh, Come yes, in, you have are. A seat. So, I wanted to end the episode. Can we still? No, we can't right now, but I'm just gonna keep recording. But if you wanna know what the outcome of this interview is, you'll have to tune in next time for Blackwell Unbound. See you then.